Fractal Bitcoin's test run has reopened back to the public after Block 21,000. If you want to know what you can expect with Fractal Bitcoin when it comes to cheap and fast transactions, this is the video for you. There are people claiming that there might be an airdrop as well for the FB token. I am not saying that is confirmed or denied because nobody knows for certain. However, it doesn't hurt to try. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the various different steps you could utilize on Fractal Bitcoin's testnet when it comes to deploying a BRC20 token or even minting a BRC20 token in hopes of getting some form of airdrop or maybe not. But at least you'll know what to expect when Fractal Bitcoin's mainnet goes live next month. Very exciting times, guys. So without further ado, let's go bank that coin. Francis Dune Uncensored. Welcome back to another video here at Francis Doing Uncensored, where we do have tomorrow's newspapers today. This is also called a smart money channel. If you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and also smash the bell notification button so you don't miss out on an exclusive content like this that's going to put you ahead of the pack when it comes to the next big thing in crypto because there's no other channel on YouTube that does it better than us. So guys, when you are about to try out the test set, there's a few things you need to know in advance. Number one, you need to upgrade your Unisat wallet. Then you need to get tokens from the faucet. And then you need to head on over to fractal.unisat.io. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do all of these things. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the program. So right here, the first thing you want to do is take your mouse and hover over the Unisat icon here. Right click on that. You should see a manage extension. Click on that. A page like this will open up. What you need to do is come on over to update, press that button, and get the latest version, which is 1.45. Once you do that, you need to head on over to explorer-testnet.fractalbitcoin.io. I would leave the link for you in the form of a pinned message in the comment section and also in the description box. So, um, once you updated your wallet, you need to open it and also choose Fractal Bitcoin Testnet. They should automatically ask you this question once you open up your wallet. So once you do that and you are in the um, this section over here, Fractal Bitcoin Testnet, it would look something like this. You'll see this red message telling you we are now in the public testing stage. The testing data will be reset, etc., etc. Okay, so I'm going to copy this address. Okay, and I want to place that there and press this claim button. Now it's important to note, so my claim was successful here, okay? I have received 0 .002 TFB or testnet FB tokens, as you can see right here. Hey okay, guys. Cool. You could only reload every six hours. As you can see, this is the countdown timer telling you when you could claim more tokens. Um, I should have a bit more than that, 0 0.005, because I've already had some tokens in here prior to this recording, okay? So let's go on to the next step. You then need to go on over, well, it'll be this page over here, which is fractal.unisat.io. But there's a couple of different things I wanted to bring to your attention here on this page that shows us some very interesting metrics. So as I alluded to at the top of this video, after block 21,000, that's when they opened up the um, testnet. So that is roughly 1,056 block confirmations that has passed since the testnet went live, which if this information is correct, it tells us transaction count 760,433 and active addresses are 977,000. That's a lot of transactions in this short period of time, which is within a one hour um, time frame. Again, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but if that's the case, people are definitely trying out this, um, you know, fractal Bitcoin. And here are the latest transactions. And on this section over here, it's very interesting. It says runes coming soon activates at block height. That looks like 84,000. So 21 days, 10 hours, 18 minutes, minutes, approximately interesting. So this is the proof that they will be supporting runes as well, guys. So that's just some, you know, some really good information to know beforehand. Now you need to go on over to fractal.unisat.io and click this explore the testnet button, which will then take you over to this page, which is fractal-testnet.unisat.io. And over here is where we're gonna test out a couple of items. Now, if you click the inscribe button, which is this pen here, okay, you're gonna see this page populate. And first I'm gonna demonstrate how you could actually deploy a token, and then we will go on over to see what's available to mint, which will be on this page right here. We have the all in progress completed and it tells us the various different mints. 
But let's first go on, try to um, deploy a token, okay? So the minimum ticker is six characters all the way up to 12. You cannot create four or five or three or two or one by tickers or anything that has 13 characters or more, okay? So let's just go like this. Test ing, okay? I will put the supply to what it is here. Oh, let's just do 21 million. Okay, the limit per mint is a thousand, okay? And if you just actually wanted to do this in a way where the team controls all the supply, you will do self-issuance, but that's not the case here in this particular example. So the max mint will be a thousand. Um, you know, the, the entire supply will be 21 million. The ticker will be testing, okay? We want to go to next. Cool, yes, I agree. All right, search my order ID. Let's go next. Understood. Sign this off. Cool. Okay, I'm going to send that to this address over here. Plug that in. We're going to leave it on 2. Okay, sat VB. And if you see right here, guys, you know, it's telling me in total, it should cost me 2,000 sats, okay? So let's go ahead, put that in, submit it. All right, cool, pay with wallet. Open this guy up, and let's sign her off to deploy this new fractal Bitcoin token. Okay. There we go, and that is pending. And there we go. All right, we are now going to check this in the history. And as you can see, there's a history button here. We click that. That should open up the mempool on the testnet. Okay, so that has been confirmed. And if I check my Unisat wallet, as you can see, um, even right here, it shows it's been confirmed like one, two, three, four blocks already. Okay, so super fast. We come on over to the wallet. We should see that inscription populate here as well. It says two minutes ago, indeed, there is a deploy token right there of testing, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have successfully deployed a six character token. Let's just see if that's registered in the system. So we're going to search by the name, which was testing, and see if that populates with my address as the owner. And there we go. I could see already this is indeed my address ending in 2ZP46, yeah? 2ZP46, ticker testing. So that is now available to mint, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So speaking of minting, let me show you guys how to mint now and how super fast and cheap it is over here on Fractal Bitcoin. It's all about them OpCat tokens. That's the next meta, bro. Don't want y'all to miss out, all right? I'm going to come straight over to BRC. We're going to click that mint. Okay. And, you know, as a matter of fact, if you click on this button here, it's going to tell you what's available. Okay. So this is all of the BRC20 tokens that's available. We're going to go to ones that are in progress. So we see that how there is a so community available. We have a already zero one that's 69% minted out. Yeah. And, you know, ours, if we search for it, let's go testing, testing right there. And there it is, 0%. That's the one that we just created, guys. So let's go ahead and see if we can mint this guy. So testing, and we're going to click mint directly. Cool. So testing, remember the maximum was 1,000. We created it. And let's go with 50 over here. Okay, so I'm click next. That's 50, 1,000. Let's go next. Okay, and I'm going to provide this wallet address once again. Okay, so to bulk mint this 50 times at a thousand max uh, max mint tokens, that is, this is 97,000 sats, guys. Um, so let us go like this, put that through, pay with wallet, sign and pay. Let's see how fast this one is. And there we go. That was roughly within the 30 second window. So that should be confirmed according to the test net. Now let's carry on over here into my wallet and see what do I have. There we go. 29 seconds ago, 29 seconds ago, this appears to be the token that I just minted, which was the one we just created testing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Very fast, very cheap. Everything works. So there you have it, guys. I showed you how to deploy your own token on Fractal Bitcoin's testnet. 
And then I showed you how to mint tokens on Fractal Bitcoin's testnet. Showed you guys the mempool as well. Um, the fees are cheap. It's fast, much faster than layer one. But what I really want to show you guys is the liquidity pool when that comes out with Fractal Swap. That's the game changer there on how things will work. So I can't wait for that video to come out, guys. I do recommend you guys, if you think there may be a chance of you getting some form of airdrop of some description, you might want to come and tinker wrong with the test net. Just in case if there is one and they're not telling us, we would have a pleasant surprise in our wallets come mainnet launch. So you know what? They don't really much have to say other than, until the next video, your ass is on your own, bro. Later.